So you wanna learn how you could shrink your stomach without surgery. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my version that I use in the belly burn of a 20 hour fast. Now, we all know that fasting is basically eliminating all of your calories from your body to a point where your body starts using its own fat as fuel. This is true, but I'm not gonna talk about that today. I'm gonna to give you a wicked strategy that's gonna be able to shrink your stomach based on the volume of food that you eat. And we all know that when you're fed, the stomach grows and it signals to your brain that we are full. Hence the 20 minute rule. So it takes about 20 minutes for your stomach to signal to the brain that it's fed. So if you eat too fast, you're probably overeating. The stomach might be full, but because you haven't given enough time for the stomach to signal to the brain that it is full, you continuously eat. You have your dinner, then you have your dessert, and next thing you know, you've eaten too many calories. Now, when you stop eating, your stomach then signals to the brain that it's actually hungry because the volume in the stomach starts to shrink. And so it says, hey, that volume is shrinking. We should probably eat again. And that's why it's easy for people to overeat and continuously overeat to the point where it becomes very dangerously for their body because they've just consumed too many calories. But if you aren't hungry and you have calories in your system, it's just part of the digestion process. So eating less often is beneficial to controlling your hunger and your weight gain. So to do this 20 hour fast, you got to be able to first cut your calories by 25%. Now, if you're working with me, I'm going to tell you exactly how many calories you could be consuming. But if you're doing this on your own, then you would take your base calories that you're consistently eating and you need to cut it by 25%. Why? Because the volume in your stomach is going to shrink. So if you're eating high protein and you're still eating your vegetables, you're not gonna have that much room in your stomach to eat because we're gonna shrink that stomach naturally. So what you do on a Sunday is that you stop eating at 4 p.m. But you're gonna resume eating calories at 12 p.m. the next day. So what can you eat and drink during the 20 hour fast? Well, I want you to do a true fast until the 16 hour mark. The 16 hour mark is from 4 p.m. Sunday until 8 a.m. Monday. And it's during this time, so the 16 hour mark to the 20 hour mark is when you can have water, you can have black coffee, you can have tea. Optional is the organic stevia because the organic stevia won't affect your blood sugars. So until 8 a.m., you're not gonna have anything, okay? You can just have water. After the 16 hour mark, which is gonna be 8 a.m., you're going to have your coffee, you're gonna have your tea, and you can have your stevia. Now, between the 16 and 20 hour mark, so just before noon, what I want you to do is have some greens, okay? The greens or the EAAs are, they, they are gonna take you out of your fast, but it's gonna still keep you in a low calorie, low volume, diet, okay? So your stomach isn't going to get the volume like it would if you actually ate food and it's not gonna stimulate the digestive system like it normally would as if you had some type of calories, but it's gonna provide you with sweetness, it's gonna provide you with the muscle recovery from the EAAs, and it's going to allow you to push the fast further. And remember, we're doing a caloric deficit cut at the 20 hour mark, and so if you're in a caloric deficit, we all know it's calorie in, calorie out but we're gonna be able to extend that so the stomach is gonna to continue to get smaller, right? Now your stomach doesn't kind of like grow and then it shrinks like right away. It's basically expanding and then it's just shrinking, right? It's like, it's like the muscle. Like when you get a pump in a muscle, the muscle grows temporarily, but then it shrinks back. What we're basically doing is shrinking that muscle so that it gets used to a lower volume of food. And this is a great way for you to kick off a low calorie weak because now the stomach signals and the hunger signals aren't going to be signaled to the brain because you're adding volume of water, EAAs, and greens. So it's going to help you to stay in a caloric deficit for longer. So that's it. That's your 20 hour fast. That's my modified version of a 20 hour fast is that you're going to stop eating on Sunday from 4 p.m. and until 8 p.m. all you're going to be able to have is just water. Okay, now that might be the difficult process after four, but if you ate at four, that should keep you fed until you go to sleep. And if you're focusing on sleep and recovery, you should be in bed around nine or 10 p.m. on Sunday so that you have a nice, recovered, relaxed sleep for Monday. Then Monday at eight, after eight, between eight and 10, you can have your coffee, you can have your green tea. Then after that, you can have your greens and EAAs to further stretch that fast until 12 p.m. on the Monday. Now, if you like this technique and you're gonna try, 
Put it in the comments. Let me know that you actually gave this a chance. See how you feel. See if it's able to keep you fed longer on less calories. And if you're looking to get started, check us out, www.fitclub.fit. Hit the get started button. If you're in the Winnipeg area, 1795 Henderson, we do five days for five bucks in person. It's the best way to get involved in our community. So go ahead, click the button, get started, and we'll see you on the blue.